Okay, haven't made a video in a while here, and what we have is a New Holland LS150 skid steer. And the complaint was that this thing all of a sudden had no hydraulic pressure or, or uh, would not move anymore. So I did a pressure test and on the pump and noticed uh, nothing at zero pressure. So anyways, what we found, here's our pump. Is, actually, the pump is at the back here. This is actually the hydraulic pump. The rest of this here is all part of the hydrostatic drive mechanism. And at the front here we have the, I think this is the left side uh, steering or hydro, hydraulic control for the hydrostatic pressure. And uh, this bolts onto the front of this. And this here input shaft here is what drives everything all the way through the pump and drives the pump at the back to build the actual pressure. But anyways, what we found here when I first looked in here, I noticed that the whole pump assembly was loose. The pump assembly bolts onto this, which bolts onto the back of the engine. Kind of like your flywheel housing cover. So the pump bolts onto here. What I noticed is that these two bolts were gone. And noticed that uh, things were in there kind of loose and what happens when you run something loose like that is you, this is the input shaft for the pump it drives all the way through there is that you'll notice that there are no splines left on it and this is the drive plate that bolts to the flywheel and it's pretty much the same thing no uh, no grip there whatsoever we can pretty much just take this and spin it on there so that's uh that's about it to get this thing out of there it's kind of a hassle got a lot of hydraulic lines you gotta disconnect had to lift the motor up i used to put a bar across the top of the cab there and then used a uh a tie down strap and cinched her up and that picked the motor up here probably about two inches off the bottom so that you could slide it out of the slide the pump assembly out of the mount that's right down there. So, uh, that's probably about it. I mean, kind of an expensive mistake. You can see, I'll show you this here. And here yet, this is the flywheel. You can still see the remains of the, the bolts that held the bottom bracket on. You can see the heads are busted off. So somebody either used too soft to bolts when they mounted this thing or they just didn't tighten things down very well. So, and you also notice here that uh, this part of the pump assembly has some nice yellow paint on it. And this part here has no paint on it. So this has been done fairly recently. Maybe trying to fix the same problem, but they obviously didn't do a very good job of it because you know, it's going to be a kind of an expensive uh, fix here. This here is the uh, kind of rides on a swash plate in there when you turn the steering and that controls your pressure or switches to pressure rather from forward to backwards. So that's that's probably about it. Again, uh, the LS. 150 New Holland. I'm not sure. I think it's about 3,000 hours on it. Maybe closer to 4,000. So it took a little bit of doing to get the pump out of there, the whole drive assembly. And uh, I took the whole chair out just to make it easier to pick the engine up. So I guess that's about it. I mean, I'll see if I can actually, if I have to buy the whole front steering mechanism here or uh, control hydraulic control or if I can just buy the shaft and put the new shaft in there and then we'll have to get a new drive plate too so that's about it